ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Welcome to the Robert Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. All right, NCAA college football week number 10. All right, in week nine, I was 14 and seven straight up picks. Year to date, 192 and 73. Against the spread, seven and 14 in week nine, 135 and 130 year to date. Over under, I was eight and 13 in week nine, 121 and 144 year to date which overall gives me a 56.3% winning percentage. Not too bad. I like to be around 60, but this year it's fallen short on everything. CFL, NFL, I'm actually below 500 on both of those. But it's been kind of a weird year, I guess you would say. Um, as we all know that the playoff rankings came out tonight, first, first week of the year for it. No big surprise, Georgia number one. Alabama number two, Michigan State, Oregon, Ohio State, Cincinnati is sixth. Now, if you look at the AP poll we've been looking at all year, Cincinnati is number two. You knew the committee doesn't like a non-Power 5 team. You have SEC, SEC, Big Ten, Pac-12, Big Ten. Then you have Cincinnati. Then you have another big third Big Ten team. Then you have the Big 12. Um, and then followed by Week Force and Notre Dame at 10. I mean, it's going to change, obviously, as teams lose, teams win. Cincinnati, I don't believe, will get in the top four, um, no matter if they're undefeated or not. Um, but in coming weeks, I will be probably trying to do kind of my own playoff rankings. I have a couple ideas I want to kind of put uh, pen to paper and get that organized and see if we can make it work. But for now, we're going to run through 32 games we have here in week number 10. So first off, we have the Georgia State Panthers, four and four versus the seven and one Louisville Raging Cajuns. Louisiana, excuse me, Louisiana Raging Cajuns. Louisiana is favored by 24. I got the Panthers covering the 24. Cajuns win over on the 53. Six and two North Illinois Huskies versus the four and four Kent State Golden Flashes. Um, the original line in this is Kent State minus five. Given that five to North Illinois, I got North Illinois plus five, and under on the 67. The four and three Army West Point Black Knights versus the six and two Air Force Falcons. The Falcons are favored by three. I got them winning, covering, and over on the 37 and a half. The Illinois Fighting Illini, who are three and six against the six and two Minnesota Golden Gophers. The Gophers are favored by 14 and a half. I got them winning, covering, and over on the 44. The Liberty Flames, who are 7-2, go into Ole Miss. The Rebels are ranked 15th at 6-2. They are favored by 10 at home. I got them winning, covering, and under in the 60 and a half. This could be the biggest blowout of the week. We have the 4-4 four four Missouri Tigers going into the number one ranked Georgia Bulldogs, who are 8-0. Georgia on the season in eight games has given up average 6.6 .6 points a game. Yeah, Missouri's not going to be able to score. Bulldogs are favored by 37 and a half. Whew. I normally don't cover 37 and a half, but Bulldogs win. The Bulldogs cover and under on the 58 and a half. The sixth ranked Ohio State Buckeyes, 7 1. Now, this is based on the AP Top 25, not the rankings that came out tonight. Against the Cornhuskers of Nebraska, who are 3 and 6. Buckeyes are favored by 14 and a half. I got them winning, covering it over on the 63. The 16th ranked University of Texas San Antonio Roadrunners, 8 0. Versus the 6 and 2 UTEP Miners. The Roadrunners are favored by 12 and a half. I got them winning, covering it over on the 53. The 6-2 Pittsburgh Panthers, who are going into Duke against the 3-5 Duke Blue Devils. Pittsburgh is favored by 20.5. I got Duke covering that 20.5 and, and under on the 64. The 23rd ranked SMU Mustangs are 7-1 versus the 4-4 four four Memphis Tigers. The Mustangs are favored by 6.5 on the road. I got them winning, covering, and under on the 71. The 10th ranked Wake Forest Demon Deacons, who are 8-0, up against the 4-4 North Carolina Tar Heels. 
The original line was Tar Heels plus two and a half. I'm giving it two and a half to Wake Forest. I got Wake Forest plus two and a half under on the 75 and a half. Wake Forest wins. The six and two Appalachian State Mountaineers versus the one and seven Arkansas State Red Wolves. Appalachian State favored by 20 and a half. I got them winning covering and over on the 68. The 12th ranked Auburn Tigers who are six and two versus the 13th ranked Texas A&M Aggies who are six and two. The Aggies are initially favored by four and a half. Man, I was looking at this game. If you look at the Aggies, they've only given up average of 16 points a game. Auburn's given up 19. On the average, Auburn scored 34 points a game, while the Aggies have scored 29. So I decided to go ahead and give that four and a half to Auburn. I got Auburn winning, covering it over on the 50. 14th ranked Baylor Bears, who are 71 versus the 3 and 5 TCU Horn Frogs. Baylor's favored by 6. I got them winning covering over on the 59. Now, this is a FBS versus an FCS team. We have the Idaho State Bengals versus the 17th ranked BYU Cougars, who are 7 and 2. The Bengals are out of the SCB Blue Sky, they are 1 and 7. The Cougars are favored by 33 and a half. I got them winning covering. I'm taking under on the 50. The San Jose Spartans 5 and 4 versus the 6 and 2 Nevada Wolfpack. Nevada is favored by 10. I got them winning covering and over on the 55. The 5th ranked Michigan State Spartans who are undefeated 8 0 after beating the Michigan Wolverines last week. Go up against the Purdue Bowmakers who are 5 and 3. Michigan State is favored by 3. I got them winning covering and over on the 52, covering at three points. The eighth ranked Notre Dame Fighting Irish, who are seven and one, who are 10th in the playoff ranking, which is kind of shocking, but okay. They are host the Navy Midshipmen, who are two and six. Notre Dame favored by 21. I got them winning covering it over on the 47. The 11th ranked Oklahoma State Cowboys, who are seven and one, versus the West Virginia Mountaineers, who are four and four. Cowboys are favored by three. I get them winning covering and over on the 49. The 22nd ranked Penn State Nettie Lions, five and three, go into Maryland versus the Turpins, who are also five and three. Then the Lions on the road are plus 11. I got them winning covering and under on the 55 and a half. The Tulsa Golden Hurricanes, who are three and five, host a number two seed in the AP, the 8 0 Cincinnati Bengals who are, again, 6th in the playoff ranking. Bearcats are favored by 23. I was going to have Tulsa cover this, but I actually think that Cincinnati is going to be pissed off about being ranked 6th in the playoff rankings for number 2 in the AP, and they're going to win this. They're going to cover the 23. It's going to be under in the 54 and a half. The 6-2 and two NC State Wolfpack, who go into Florida State, gets the 3-5 and five Seminoles. The Wolfpack are favored by three points in the road. I got them winning covering in over on the 56. You know what? We're going to change that. So we got the NCAA, we got the NC State Wolfpack 6 and 2 versus the 3 and 5 Florida State Seminoles. The line is 56. I'm going to go under on the 56. They're going to cover the three points. The 6 and 2 Utah State Aggies. Going to New Mexico State against the New Mexico State Aggies, who are 1 and 7. Utah State is favored by 17. I get them winning covering and under on the 70. The 7 and 1 San Diego State Aztecs versus the 4 and 5 Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. Nice little trip to Hawaii for the San Diego State Aztecs. Yeah. Go relax in the sun a little bit before you play a little football. The Aztecs are favored by seven points in Hawaii. They win, they cover, they enjoy their vacation, they go over on the 46 and a half. The 21st ranked Coastal Carolina Chanteagles, seven and one, versus the two and six Georgia Southern Eagles. Coastal Carolina favored by 19. I got them winning, covering, and under on the 61 and a half. The four and four Boise State Broncos versus the 25th ranked Fresno State Bulldogs, who are seven and two. Fresno State is favored by five and a half. I get them winning, covering, and over in the 58. The 19th ranked Iowa Hawkeyes, who are six and two, they were six and zero, and they lost two straight. Now they are 19th ranked. 
Hopefully they make a rebound. Hopefully they can get a good ball game out of it against the Northwestern Wildcats here at 3-5. and five. I was favored by 12. I got the Hawkeyes winning. I got the Wildcats covering the 12 and taking under on the 40. The 4-4 four four LSU Tigers versus the third-ranked Alabama Crimson Tide, who are 7-1. The Tide are... For, oof, 28 and a half is the line on this game. The Tide's good and all. LSU is not that bad. They are putting up 30 points a game average. Uh, so I got the Tide winning. You know what? I have the Tigers cover the 28 and a half and then under on the 65. 4-4 four and four, Tennessee Volunteers versus the 18th range Kentucky Wildcats. They're 6-2. Kentucky favored by 3. I got them winning covering and over on the 58 and a half. Next up, we have the 20th ranked Houston Cougars, who are 7-1, versus the South Florida Bulls, who are 2-6. Houston is favored by 13. I got the Cougars winning, covering, and over on the 54.5. The Indian Hoosiers are 2-6, going up against the 9th ranked Michigan Wolverines, who are 7-1. That one loss is to an 8-0 Michigan State team, so that's actually a pretty good loss. Um, I think that's why they're ranked 7th, which... Just, I just don't understand some of these rankings, to be honest with you. That's why I'm going to, like I said, in coming weeks, we may have a playoff ranking here on Robert's Sports Show. We're going we're gonna to look at doing that. See what that looks like. Michigan Wolverines are favored by 19 and a half. I got them winning covering and over on the 51. And then last but not least, out of the Pac-12, we have the 7th ranked Oregon Ducks, who are 7 and 1. Versus the Washington Huskies, who are 4 and 4. The Ducks are favored by 6 and a half. Got them winning covering and over on the 51. All right, that is going to wrap up NCAA College Football Week number 10. Make sure you check out our Sports Show NFL Week 9, the CFL Week 14, the NASCAR Cup Series, Xfinity Series, and Truck Series, Season Finale, and Champion Preview. Those are all coming to our Sports Show over the next couple days. If you are a NASCAR fan, it's beginning after the season is over with. We will have the 100-day countdown to Daytona 500, along with a champion's profile of every champion in the NASCAR Cup Series, the NASCAR Xfinity Series, the Camping World Truck Series history. There will be the 100-day countdown, the champion's profile series, and a bunch of topic videos about NASCAR and the history of it. As we get into 2022 and the new car, the NASCAR is debuting, we're going to kind of recap what has already happened in the 74-year history of the sport. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show, and don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports channel content.